It's not him. If Cyril had his own choice, maybe we wouldn't have a lockdown. If Cyril actually had power, maybe we wouldn't be getting vaccinated. But he doesn't. He has to play according to the script of the people that put him there. To become president, he arguably got 1 billion rand for campaigning, of which to this day, we're not allowed to see the bank statements of the people that gave him the money. You know, we, we know even from back in the day when Mandela was president, that Cyril was basically asked. He was almost handpicked, especially by... Um, I think it may have been the Oppenheimer family, but I know it's mining people because he was one of the, the leaders of NUMSA, uh, I believe, if not one of the co-founders, uh, National Union of Mine Workers. So he was handpicked to be their golden boy. He was one the, the chair of the commission when they brought in Black Economic Empowerment, and he became one of the first beneficiaries, along with guys like Mzikumalo, Saki Matozoma, obviously Patrice Mutsipe, and a couple of other guys as well. The, the, the Rand Lords, the wealthy whites in this country, the Oppenheimer family, the Hartsoff family, the Manels, and then we go into the Ruperts and other families, they are comfortable with these guys in the same way they became comfortable with Nelson Mandela and why they had to groom him and condition him and take him to the World Economic Forum and make sure that he gets out of, this, out of his head this nationalization agenda. Because these guys are puppets. They are told what to do. They are told, we will give you money. We will make sure you become the president. We will make sure you can buy votes of the people that need to make sure that you're in power. And mind you, to become like a, a politician or to have any influence on politicians who are the puppets who get to say and do what they are told. It's either you have money, so you give these guys money and you say, do this for me. If you want a tender, if you want a certain law passed, you pay the people who can make that happen for you. You either have the money, of which obviously most black people don't have money and a whole lot of other people don't have money. So you must have money. Number two, you must have violence firepower. The taxi industry has that in this country and other nations like the United States have got very, very strong military forces. They are willing to kill you. They can assassinate you. They can use intelligence agencies to discredit you and make you look like a child molester or whatever. But you use that violence. I will threaten you and your family or I will jail you if you do not act. So that's the second one. The third one is psychological manipulation which is normally used by the rich via the media. So that means you will act according to what the media tells you. And you think this is a fact. It's not. It's an agenda because someone out there said, this is what we're going to do. On a much smaller scale, it's me sitting with Cyril for a one-hour session. And I'd like to think I have the power to do this. Sitting with Cyril for one hour and planting seeds in his head and saying, Cyril, have you thought about this? What do you think about that? Such that when I leave him, those seeds will begin germinating and he may find himself making certain decisions through my influence just off a conversation because I have the psychological tools to ensure that he listens to me and I can influence him no matter how small that influence may be. Besides 